So we're in the plane and you had to wear your mask the whole time unless you're eating or drinking. And it was just kind of tripping me out. It was hard, um, kind of warm, had the air on. And then also here is crazy. We're flying over. I think we just passed Vancouver. And when I look behind the plane, it is dark out. And when you look in front, uh, it is getting lighter. And so it's such a trip to see literally, I think at this point we were passing like Victoria, um, and Victoria, BC. And it was just, it was crazy. And, um, but yeah, the plane was good. It was an easy flight. I was kind of tired, but I've never really been able to sleep on planes, even though I have like my travel pillow. Um, and then here I am, uh, I watched NCIS. I downloaded on Netflix um, so I could watch it without having to stream and the clouds were trippy. And what was also really trippy was that, like I said, we were like behind us was getting dark, but as we went further north, the sun was there and it was just sitting right on top of the horizon. And I mean, I was tripping out because at this point it was like 10 o'clock at night and, um, the sun is there. And I think below us is like the very bottom of Alaska. I think we're kind of flying over like the Juneau area. Um, but yeah, flying into that midnight sun was such a trip. I, totally enjoyed it and I think it's an experience that everyone um should see it was amazing at one point I'm like I might need my sunglasses on because the person's um you'll see right here I mean the sun was just glaring through that window right into my eye but it was amazing it really was Here we're flying over some mountain ranges and I don't know anything really about Alaska, but I just thought it was really pretty. I know that we're getting really close to landing. Um, they just announced, you know, we're coming through to pick up the garbage and, you know, return your seats up and put your trays and stuff. And I just thought it was so gorgeous. I had to film the whole way into Anchorage. Um, it was, it is seriously one of the most beautiful flights I've taken. Um, even with all the cloud coverage, I mean, the clouds themselves, the really low clouds, they were just cool shapes. And Sam's like, are you going to fly in the clouds? And, um, and so I just wanted to make sure I filmed that, like, I had clouds below me and clouds above me and all the weird shapes of them. But yeah, these mountain ranges, I don't know what they are. I don't um what they're called, but they're definitely beautiful.
Please keep your seatbelt on to our pilot soul. Turn off the seatbelt sign when it is safe to get out. Please leave your things where they are until you reach the gate. If your phone is closed, you can take it out of airplane mode. Upon declining, you will be provided a State of Alaska declaration form regarding COVID-19. You'll be asked to provide proof of a negative test result obtained prior to flight to the State of Alaska, or will be directed to the following next steps for testing and quarantine. Please note that testing is available at this airport. For further questions regarding this process, please see an airport agent with our baggage service gu guarantee. Your bags will be at the carousel within 20 minutes of arrival at the gate. Will you receive discounts or bonus towards a future flight? For more information about connecting flights, please check the monitors inside the terminal or use the Alaska Airlines mobile app. In addition to wearing your face mask or covering while on board, we do ask you to please keep it on while passing through the airport. On behalf of your in-flight crew this evening, we'd like to thank you for flying with us on all Just got off the plane and I'm rushing to get through the line for the testing for COVID. And um, turns out the line was pretty large. I was kind of surprised because I didn't think there was going to be that many people. But I guess with all the flights coming in from all over the place, um, there was definitely a big line. Here, I went through the line, signed up, and then I had to go get in another line. So I'm waiting in line here to actually get the test. I didn't film the actual nose swab, um, but I was pretty nervous about it. I've been scared about it the whole time. Um, they, you have to administrate it yourself. So they give you this like little biohazard bag with the swab in it and a tube. And you go up to a curtain with um, some type of health provider and they just tell you stick it in until your eyes and um, start burning and watering and it was intense it wasn't too bad okay so i just got my covid test done and it surprisingly wasn't as bad as what i was thinking it was going to be um but they made me do it myself which was interesting um so yeah i'm going to figure out what doors to go out I got these ones or I got those ones. Let's try these ones and we'll see if we can find Nate. Hey, hey, hey. So I landed at the airport as you saw, and as I was walking out, uh, I quit filming. But here's Nate. Hey. my best friend I'll have to introduce you to the rest of the family at some point if they're okay with it I'm not gonna force them to be in my videos but I have a sneaky suspicion that Laylee would love to do some videos with me um, but yeah we got I got in oh god super late like my plane landed at 11 40 45 you know like about that midnight time and then I had to stand in line forever with the uh, COVID test and it was just like multiple lines you go to one line and then you got to go to this other line and then it's just and then how far away from anchorage are we in? uh we're 35 miles from anchorage proper we're about 45 miles from the airport so you know it was a drive it took about an hour to get home and we stopped to get mcdonald's because i was hungry and they were hungry because they had to sit and wait the whole time so you um, can't even see the tops of the mountains because the clouds right now it's a bummer but they go way above the clouds yeah, it looks awesome. All Over here, there's that. like, once we get past this tree line, on this side, you'll see a ton of mountains. So Nathan said, above the clouds is still mountains, but it's uh, gonna be overcast and cloudy and rainy for a couple days, and then it's gonna get sunny again. Um, but yeah, this is it's really good. So we didn't get home until about three o'clock. It was it like took, three, yeah. about three o'clock, and I probably didn't fall asleep till really close to four. I think the last time I looked at my phone, it was like, 345 350 yeah, the clouds are above, right? the, the mountains go so high up so right now um we are on our way to hillary's mom's birthday uh, i slept in today it was nice but i definitely need more sleep so um yeah i'll just film throughout my trip uh fun things we do and uh take you guys along with us but until then i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys later